welcome into Rock Painting 101. Um, if you joined yesterday, we did a fun dangle spring rock like this. And I had a couple people ask to um, see some more flowers. So I thought we'd do a quick little simple rock today. Don't always get on on Friday, but I thought this one's short and sweet. Make this fun little floral spring rock. They're really fun to do. They'd be easy to customize. You could put a letter in here or a name in here as well. So just very easily start your rock with a simple line. You build off of one line to create this style of rock. So whatever shape you have works, this works good for odd shaped rocks or um, smaller rocks too. You could make just a miniature version of this. But just start by giving yourself a a guideline just one little wave from one side to the other just something really super simple that gets you from the left all the way to the right side of your rock and then you'll start building off of this line so just kind of let the rock shape help guide where you're gonna go we'll try to put a flower at the tip of each of these so you don't want to go too close to your edge so you just kind of start with that middle line and pull off to the side and you can pull from the center off in one direction like so. And since we have a lot of space here down below, we'll do a nice long pull down to the bottom just to get some, some lines down there. And then you can make pieces off of each of yours as well. One there and one there. I like to do these almost as if it was a tree, I guess. The same type of technique where it all kind of goes back to a base. So we've got this really long one. We're gonna have a flower here. I think it's gonna need at least one more friend on its little branch here, so we'll add one there. And here we can curl this off to this side slightly. And we'll do another one here. So just work your way around your rock, creating these little curves towards the outer edges. And before you know it, you'll have your simple design for this rock and this one's very easy to do but it just looks so pretty when it's done so once you have your basic outline shapes we're going to add the curls last don't worry about doing those yet you want to save those little pieces to fill in gaps when you're done so don't do those right away so we're going to go in and just add a circle at the tip of each of your lines. Now, if you're not comfortable making a tiny little circle, you can also make a dot, because it will cover them. So if you can't do that circle like that, you can also just do a little a dot. And we're just gonna get the centers of each of our flowers. And this will help us know how to space out our petals. And some you may be able to get all the petals around, others you may not. You might notice an area that looks like it's gonna be a little blank or a little bit too close together like this one. I think we'll curl this one off to the side, just that littlest bit. And once we've got a dot at the end of each of these, we'll go in, see I wanna add another flower here. I can tell it's gonna be a little bit blank. We'll go in and start adding our petals. Now one tip to doing the petals is, especially since you're working right off the vine, I always try to do my first two petals where the separation is the the branch or the vine so that you don't get back around and you want a petal that splits this. So you just start right there along the edge and do one petal, two petals, and then work your way the rest of the way around. And you can do four or five, whatever fits on your flower. But I just like to do those first two close to the vine since it's going to split there anyways. And that way you don't end up with a big spot on your rock like that. Now if you have a spot where you think you're going to bump into each other, like right here, these two are kind of close together, so let's pick one that's going to be the full flower, like so. And then you know what, instead of having it, you can make it overlap if you want to, and I'm sorry I got a little bit high there, you can make it overlap if you want to, but you can also have one flower here where maybe a couple petals fell off. I mean that happens, or just one fell off. It looks just fine when it's all complete. This one's got a couple like that on there. We've got one here and one up here. So it looks fine. Flowers are not all exactly alike in the garden and yours here don't need to all be exactly alike either. So just work your way around and place your petals 
and you can have some that are bigger petals and smaller petals just until you get one and you could leave a tip without any petals I mean that happens too right but I'm I want I want flowers on all of mine so I won't do that but you could if you forget one we'll get all the way around now I am going to use my pastels to color these in because I just love the pastels for all things spring um, you could easily use any colors or paint and paintbrush if you're able to do fine details with paint and paintbrush as well um, this pen that I'm using is the 1M size extra fine and it's great for doing these outline type things because I could never personally do this with the brush like this. I've got two that are going to bump here if we go all the way around so we're just going to do two little ones that maybe lost a little petal or two and we're all the way around. Oop, got a little bump there on my rock. There we go. Now we've got all the flowers on there so you can pick your colors and start filling them in. Now I've got an orange to do the center of each of my flowers. So I'm going to go along and poke all those in first. And then I'll give you a couple tips when you're filling in your flowers. So good morning, Sheila. Hello, Lori and Heather. Thanks for joining. And Jenny, thanks for joining in today, guys. So hopefully you guys are seeing flowers. We had some flowers coming up already, even though we got some snow. There's daffodils around and, and other things poking out of the ground already around here. I'm ready for spring, but the forecast said that we might even get one more snow. We'll see. So just go along and just dot it in there. It's a little center on each of our flowers. And that's why it's okay if you if you make a dot. If you don't have a perfect little center in there, that's okay. Just put it right there in the middle. It will cover up the black just fine. Now for this one, I'm going to do purple and blue flowers. I did pinks on this one, but I wanted to mix it up a little bit. So the way that I like to color mine in is I like to see them as branches. And so if, you, if you've if got a bush style flower that kind of has different colored flowers that comes off of them, normally each little branch of flowers will have the same color. Now you don't have to do it like this. This is just my um, thought process behind it. So this stem here, all three flowers would most likely be the same color. So I'm gonna make all of the ones on here blue. And that's just kind of the way a lot of plants grow, especially the ones that sometimes put off more than one color. Each little stem though will, will have a cluster of the same color. So we'll do blue on those. And I'm gonna alternate kind of back and forth. So this stem here, I'll make purple. So this one across here, I will make blue. Make sure I'm still in frame here. These are some tiny little dots, so I kind of have to hold it a little bit closer to my face without hitting my phone with my forehead. There we go. Now this little stem here would be purple all together there. So this next one right here will make blue. And try, now this, these dry pretty fast, see, so I don't, I don't really have to worry about putting my hand down. But always check, you don't wanna smudge your flowers, especially if you're working right on the rock, you can't really put a base coat back over it if you do. There we go, get that in there. Cute little blue flowers, I love blue flowers. And then we're gonna go purple in the rest of these here quickly. Sue, yes, these I'm, I'm all about the spring flowers. Sue said these remind her of spring and I am ready. Everything from here on out, I'm done with snow. Although I did have somebody send me a message that on the other side of the hemisphere, it is turning fall. So I might sneak in a couple fall. Ooh, excuse me, I was way out of frame. I might sneak in a couple fall um, rocks because these videos, thanks to you guys sharing, reach really far all the way on the other side of the globe. So I really appreciate when you guys share. Um, I know a lot of local rock groups love the little tutorial videos so they can fancy up their rocks to hide around town and I really get so many beautiful messages from you guys that 
you know, you're creating rocks you didn't think you'd be able to do. And that's the whole point of these. They're pretty little rocks. There's not a lot necessarily to them, but sometimes just little tips and tricks make your rocks go from so-so to amazing. So I love all the messages, so keep them coming, guys. So there we go. We've got all of them filled in. If you go over your edges, you can always go back with black and, and fix any edges that you maybe you know, went over the line a little bit. Now, if you want to do this next step, you can. You could just leave it how it is right now. Um, I just like to add a few more little frills in there. So anywhere where you have a little bit of open space, you could go back and add more flowers if you want, but I like to add just a couple little curls to uh, to these little edges. So just kind of come in anywhere where you feel like, yeah, it needs a little something else. You can just add a little curl back to the vine. And let's see, where else can we add one in? I think one on this little branch here. Use a little curl. And let's do, that one's pretty full. I think I'll leave that one, but this one over here could fit a little bit there. Just be careful when you're doing these, use a nice light touch with these pens because they can splatter if you're pushing too hard. I kind of hold it on its side and go nice and smooth, like nice and light. But that paint wants to go on your rock. You don't have to press down hard to get it to go onto the rock. So just nice and nice and gentle touch and it will be right there. So I think we're good with that. I think, well, let's add one more little curl here right off of the main thing. There we go. I think we'll call that good. So I hope you give this a try. It's a lot of fun to make these. They don't take very long. See, we're already done start to finish that fast. They do dry nice and quick. So, you know, you can you can go back over and add more flowers or whatever you'd like to do. Um, so if you, if you missed the video yesterday, we did those flowers along with our little spring picture. You can go back in the videos and see it. So thanks for everybody that shared and caught us live. And if you're watching the replay, thank you as well for watching the replay. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and make sure to check back tomorrow morning where you can show off any of the rocks that you've been doing. Um, this week around the house. So take it easy, everybody. Bye.